Low power or excessive noise or smoke are often blamed on the turbo. A diagnostic fault code may only point to the area where the problem lies. You may have to investigate further to identify and cure the real cause. But remember, the turbocharger is not a simple replacement part. It's an integral part of the engine's air, fuel, cooling and oil systems. A blocked filter or intercooler, obstructions, leaks or splits in any hoses or pipes, or even using non-OE spec parts can cause performance problems and lead to turbo failure. So it's essential to check all of these systems before you replace the turbo. For example, a split hose can make the turbo over-rev and over-boost. If the engine is worn or has been modified, it won't provide the turbo with the correct amount of energy, so the turbo can't perform properly or may fail prematurely. Even simply overfilling the engine oil can overpressurize the system and damage the turbo, or suggest there's a turbo problem. If you're in doubt and would like our expert advice, call the BTN Turbo Helpline. Turbo failure is a reasonably rare event. The problem usually lies elsewhere with the engine. More than 95% of failures are caused by the three turbo killers of oil starvation, oil contamination and foreign object damage. In the vast majority of cases, the problems are oil related. Therefore, it's vital to check the lubrication system before you replace the turbo. Oil starvation can be caused by insufficient lubricant reaching the turbo usually because of blocked or leaking oil pipes or lack of oil priming when the turbo was fitted. Oil contamination can be caused by not changing the oil and filter at the correct service interval, by fuel or water in the oil, or by using an incorrect lubricant. As a turbo operates at up to 240,000 RPM, at up to 950 degrees C, and to very fine tolerances, proper lubrication is critical. Running a turbo without oil for five seconds is as harmful as running an engine without oil for five minutes. The effects of foreign objects entering the turbo due to careless maintenance or because of leaks in the air intake system should be obvious. Even a very small foreign object can cause a considerable amount of damage to turbine or compressor blades. Occasionally, other reasons, such as poor driving habits, can result in turbo failure, so it's also worth considering these causes. Prolonged engine idling can create a vacuum within the turbine, leading to failure of the oil seals. Hard acceleration from cold will not give the oil time to circulate, causing oil starvation to the turbo and engine bearings. Hot engine shutdown can cause carbon buildup within the turbo, leading to bearing failure. It's essential to let a hot turbo engine idle for at least three minutes before turning it off to reduce the temperature inside the turbo. Misuse, such as revving the engine beyond its safe limit, can cause overspeeding, which pushes the turbo beyond the parameters where lubrication can protect it, and overboosting, which damages the engine. <laughs>